Hey there guys, this is Decimatus. We are back for part two of Firestarter. So for day two, um, your big focus is going to be first getting inside and figuring out where your serve room is. Um, so basically here we are headed in to take a look at this FBI office to get a hold of a server. There's quite a few steps to this one. It's very unique. Um, it's one of, probably in my opinion, the funnest stealth missions that's there right now to do. Um, this is our evidence room. There's a possibility for some of the loot that uh, the cops have confiscated from us as we've been caught uh, to be reclaimed there. Um, we're not going for it because we don't have silent drills, but that's something to look out for if you do. Now, I am stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Um, I think I'm just gonna wait it out, see what happens. Oop, we got movement. All right. So I didn't see it uh, immediately when I walked in the door there. Uh, that's one possible spawn. That is the only first floor spawn. I'm gonna kill some time picking this door here. Now I do want to, yeah, we gotta be careful of that camera. Uh, it is looking straight at that box. Uh, basically once we find the server room door, which it looks like is right here, very nice. Um, We've got to find our keyboard, and once we find our keyboard, oop, very nice, that's on second floor as well. Um, it'll mark two of those little electrical boxes for us. And basically what we're gonna do is head straight for the two that, you know, basically we've gotta cut them open, uh, you know, open them up, cut the cable, and close them. And we've gotta do that without letting them get seen. So let's hope it's not that one next to that camera there. Now, if it's on the first floor, you'll be jumping down. Uh, if it's on the other side of the hallway, you gotta sprint across. It can suck. Ooh, got pretty lucky. Um, unfortunately, I will have to use the ECM for the one, um, but this one's very close, so um, they're both right there. Uh, it's not gonna take me very long at all. Again, like I said, you can get unlucky here. You can have to jump to the first floor. You can have to sprint all the way to the other side. Uh, it can really, really suck. There's a lot of possible spawns. Looks safe enough, so I think I'm going to use this ECM and just get this done. You'll probably, yeah, with a placement, you'll have to jump up on the cabinet there. So I'm going to cut this one as well. All right, that's it. We can head into the room. Now, one thing you want to be mindful of here is all these guards move. They are roamers. They move around pretty much constantly. Um, the only thing you can do is just be careful. Note, I do not have the lock picking skill here, so my slow ass is gonna be waiting. Um, this is a personal, this is a trade up. Obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to have the body bags for day one if I had the lock picking for day two. So it's just one of those things that I give up. Oh, 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 so close, so close, but no cigar. Well, um, I'll just wait it out. I don't have much of a choice, but that's not too big of a deal. It's already pretty quick, and I'm nearly done with the mission. We're only at three minutes. That's not bad at all. Three minutes going on four. So I'll just stick it out. Um, when you go to leave, there's a few ways that you can go. Um, you can either head up the alley um, to the left, basically the way we came. Um, you can also head out the front door, uh, as long as you're careful going over that metal detector. Do not get tripped up on that metal detector on your way out. That's going to be very disappointing. Oop, still there. So it looks like um, we're, we're still waiting to have our path cleared to head forward. Oop, there he goes. Perfect. All right. Now let's keep an eye out. Make absolutely sure. Oop, they're heading this way again. Nope, oh, nope, no, no, no. They're heading out. I'm going for my door. Alright. 
long pick is nearly done. I don't see a guy coming up the stairs. I don't see a guy heading in from the hallway or from where those two guys just left. So I'm going straight in. Now I do have the specialist and overdrive so I can open up the door. Now, uh, note here, you could trade that up for the silent drill as well and uh, wait for that, but that's entirely up to you. I'm going to head for the alley because that's my, uh, my preferred way to go. Um, let's see if that's clear first. It's usually the safest, uh, as long as you can get a direct route to that door downstairs. Don't see anybody on the upper balcony. Oh, that guy's down there. Um, that's going to make things difficult for us. Let's see what we've got in the other direction. Um, like I said, you can get out past the metal detector as long as you're careful. So what do we have here for guards? Nope, at least one coming up. Not any upstairs. Oh, you heading away? No, you're heading up. All right. Let him do his thing, and we will head down. Oop, coming back. He's going to be stationary for a few seconds. Nope, and another one. See, I could kill one or two here, um, but you know, it, it just takes one slippery slope before there's another and another and another and you're done. Um, I, I might be able to take both of these guys, but who knows who's going to join the party. Uh, and there he comes. You go that third guy. Always, always, always be ready for your third guy. All right, but it looks like they're actually clearing a path for me again. And I think after that onslaught, there can't be too many left. Clear down here. Just that one guy without a flashlight, which leads me to believe he's stationary. Toss it right over the metal detector. And out we go. There we go, guys, that's day two. So basically, uh, recap, you're gonna wanna sneak in go you know as quiet as you can I like to take that side alley in you are gonna find your door you are gonna find your keyboard and then you're gonna find your two lock boxes you're gonna get your server and you're gonna sneak out pretty simple so as we move on to day three um, it's a bank job you've seen it a dozen times you know if, if, if you've played payday and you've not done a uh, harvest and trusty bank you're you're not doing things right. So um, this is going to be a, an ordinary bank with one exception. Uh, it does have a second door on the second floor that has a switch that turns off uh, electricity. It's rigged up to the vault. This is a mafia bank. And um, if we don't switch that off before we try to place our drill, we are going to have a bad time. So just like any other bank, we are going to head right in. Looks like we've got front vault. Let's try and get into manager's office and see if we can snag that key card. That's a yes. Let's go straight for cameras. I know it's on overkill and we could probably uh, take a couple guards with those. Uh, I, I, we, we have to do a drill upstairs, so I mean, they're gonna come straight to us either way. This is, uh, I'm a big fan of the six cents perk, especially for these bank jobs. I love being able to pick up that key card straight away, get right in here, get this taken care of. Even on overkill, I like having those cameras down as soon as possible, especially with the fire starter version of the bank job. So 
we've got two more guards roaming around. Let me go ahead and start this drill up here. Um, take a quick look. A lot of times that guard will be pathing around up top instead of up through the stairs. Um, so that's just one thing to be mindful of. And basically, um, I'm just going to hang out on the roof and uh, use my sixth sense to mark the people downstairs and just kind of let me know, you know, where, where, where's everybody at? Where are my guards at? Um, I think that one that's marked is headed my way. He hears that drill and he wants to come investigate. Now I do want to be careful. I do not want both guards to be up here at the same time. Um, if I do get screwed over and one of them ends up firing, uh, that's going to suck. So let's wait a bit and see what happens. Oh yeah, he's heading upstairs. Let me make sure here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Will y'all stop saying oh yeah in my courtroom? I don't think he'll come all the way through the threshold. Yeah, no. You can hear it just outside. <laughs> Has some power on that judge. Alright, so grab his pager. I think I will grab his body. Um, just to be safe. I doubt the other guard will come up through these stairs. Um, I would have him marked already with uh, Sixth Sense from having to stay stationary for that pager, and I don't see him, so he's probably coming around the long way. Let's just keep our eyes peeled, and uh, another Sixth Sense marking the lower floor there. I don't see anybody headed our way from that direction, so again, I'm thinking he's going to be headed over. Um, we'll see, though. Oop, mark somebody. I think we've got some civilians over there. <laughs> Let me go ahead and stand in the closest spot that I can without being down there. Yeah. Nope, nope. That's our manager. At this point, there's only two things moving around in the map. Uh, the manager and that guard. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Coming the long way. Oh, you poor devil. All right. So let's answer this pager. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much done. Um, you know, obviously, there's the the usual taking of the bank, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. That's pretty simple. I don't like that. Flew a little too far. So we're going to let this drill finish up here. Um, we got to remember to come and use this before we set up our drill. I do not want to get electrocuted. Um, I feel really silly, so. All right. In the meantime, let's see about clearing the rest of this bank. We've got a bunch of civvies and a lack of zip ties, so I wonder what's going to happen next. Hoping to catch, yeah, there he is, manager over here still. It looked like he went and sat in his office. If you judge these guys, oh, look at that, look at that, he's getting away. Oh, 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 so close. Oh, he nearly got that button. Nearly got that button. <laughs> if you judge those guys, they'll uh, they'll fly, and you don't have to worry about the tellers seeing them. But if you just tap them, or if you're playing with multiplayer, um, they'll just fall down. And sometimes that's not good. Now, taking the bank, um, that's always your, you know, run in, tap your tellers. Um, I like to go and grab my square guy if I haven't gotten him beforehand. And from here, it's the usual. Use up whatever zip ties you've got, and uh, you can either kill him, keep shouting him down. Um, I'm actually going to probably open up the game here and get somebody with saw and to open up the lock boxes. I've also got my two roamers. I will head outside to take a quick look, see if they're there. I think I saw him. I want to get that drill set up, though. All right. And I will switch off my electrical switch.
go for all of the loose stuff in the map here. We've got some cash in the teller's office, some cash on the manager's desk, and a safe there, but no safe, obviously. Let's go deal with those roamers. Oh, look at that, got one. Got one down there. Um, there's usually two, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled and see if I can't. Oh, there he is. Uh, look at that. Uh, this is a match made in hell. Let's let these guys get a little bit closer. Um, if I can kill them at relatively the same time, I don't have to worry about them spooking each other. Um, let's see how close I can get it here. Boom! Look at that. Like magic. Oh, oh no. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Chains. Chains disapproves. All right. Well, guys, that's pretty much the map. Um, your biggest thing here is going to be making sure you have got that switch turned off before you try to do anything else. Um, if you were careful enough to do this without your ECMs, you can go ahead and crack these open. Um, but if you're going to go ahead and open it up the multiplayer, the chances of getting at least one other guy to come in with ECMs um, is very, very high. You know, you're, you're not going to get some, you know, honestly, the, the chances of you getting someone with ECMs are higher than you getting someone with Saw. So, um, you, sometimes you got to get lucky with Saw. I think I'm going to go ahead and open it up, see if I can't get some help in here. All right, guys, unfortunately, um, I'm not gonna be able to show you an experience screen and a real ending to this, so I'll go ahead and throw the ending up. Um, basically, my game crashed, and uh, unfortunately, like I said, I'm unable to show you guys an experience screen for this one. I had to uh, close my game after it, like I said, uh, I think Raptor crashed is the recording software that I used. It let me save. The, the previous files footage, but all the footage containing the ending was lost. We got all the way to the van with all the loot out and uh, failed. So unfortunately myself and these guys were gypped out of the loot. But hey, what can you do? Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, let me know if you have a preference of which heist you want to see next. As always, happy heisting. Peace.